it must be British brand corner because we're at BSA now. Yeah. Obviously man manufactured elsewhere, I think, in India, isn't it? But historic British motorcycle brand. And it's got to be said, they're quite nice looking bikes. I rode the new Gold Star last year or the year before. Yeah. We did it on a closed circuit because, again, they weren't ready for riding on the road. So it's a while since I did that. But now, coming back and kind of seeing it on the stand, I can see why people might be drawn into that. It's they still get the interest, yeah. How did you find it to ride? Was it fun? Was it engaging? Did it well, feel a bit old? So it's a big single, right? It's probably one of the biggest singles you can buy. I think the KTM 690 yes. that's in their supermoto and used to be in the Duke, that's probably the biggest. But this is a big 650 single. Mm. So I was expecting it to feel, in comparison to the Enfield, vibey and a bit agricultural. Sure. But actually, they've done a great job on balancing it, and it was really surprisingly smooth. It's so similar to an Interceptor on price, sure. looks, yeah. specs, mm -hmm. chassis. Yeah. The, the key differentiator is that, for me anyway, the, the big one yeah. is, is the engine character. And I wouldn't say it's a sacrifice having a single. It just feels different. OK. And when you've got on the press ride, 10, 15 of them all fired up at once. Yeah. Like, pop, 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 that single sound. It, yeah. it, I think it's very nostalgic for some yeah, of the yeah, yeah. older Evocative. gents for a few in the yeah, bikes no, who that. got transported back to yesterday. I was like, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> not really. But uh, yeah, it, it is a nice sound. And it, uh, I think, yeah, quite nostalgic for some sure. people. New at the moment, though, they just announced this at Motorcycle Live is a fully blacked out version. So if you think of something like the T100 Black or T120 Black from Triumph, yeah. similar treatment. So all the chrome's gone, all the colorful paint in favor of a blacked out version. What do you think, yeah. though? Would you go like red and chrome or do you like this new? I, yeah, no, I think it depends on the bike. It is very case by case. But I would say with a bike like this, I kind of want some shine on there. Yeah. I think. A bit of bling. Right? Yeah. And if it's going to look a little bit more vintage, I think for me, it does have to have a bit of chrome on there. But, you know, each to their own. I like the design. It's nice to do something a bit different. But I get what you're saying. It's more fitting. If you're going to buy a BSA, you want something that's got that sort Hell of yeah. vibe. However, the other option that I'm going to present to you is what we think is maybe one of the best custom bikes that we've seen here today. Mm. This little BSA Scrambler behind us. It's yeah. not a production run or anything. I think they've commissioned it from, is it more speed racing? Yeah, more speed racing. Really nicely done, isn't it? Very, That'd be the one nice. to take. Yeah, it does actually put me in mind, and not to refer too much to the Interceptor, but do you remember the Malay Interceptors they did for the- uh, Malay Rally. Uh, Malay Rally, yeah. Malay Rally. <laughs> it's just fun to say. Yeah. yeah. I think it puts me in mind a little bit of that. It's definitely got a bit of that look to it. Like a more purposeful version of the bike that it started as. Yeah. And, you know, maybe you don't want to take this off-road. As we know, with all scramblers, it's, it looks like it can go off-road, but you don't really want to do it, yeah. Uh, but it does tend to be a little bit nicer on-road because you're a little bit higher and elevated with your hands and stuff like that. It's a more comfortable riding position. I did like playing the uh, Find the Indicator game on that bike. I love Mini it. Mini Yeah. Teeny, I've never tiny. seen... Well, it was hard to see them anyway, but yeah. I've never seen indicators that well integrated and small. It's a proper yes. nice custom It's the integration job. that's the big thing for me. And actually, that colorway, although it's not something necessarily I'd pick from a catalog for myself, yeah, it's very in it. keeping. Yeah, really cool. It's a beautiful thing. You've got knobbly tires, knobbly bobblies, some upgraded shocks on the rear. I like the big wide braced bars with a bit of detail. A license plate off to one side. What are we talking exhaust wise as well? Let me have a look. Oh yeah, like a high scrambler pipe on that side. I bet that sounds good. It doesn't look like it's got a cat or anything, so that'll be proper <laughs> loud. And that's one of our favorites, I think. We already did a little walk around of the show to pick out a few bikes we wanted to come and talk about. Straight away, we looked at that and we're like, let's get back here and have a look at it. So let us know what you think of it down in the comments.